everyone, this is Elena Krauss and welcome to another LDRS Creative Card video. Today I'm featuring a couple new products from the summer release. It's the Garden Grandeur stamp set, coordinating die and coordinating layering stencils. So here is the back of the stencil packaging and all the layering is very easily uh, and clearly described there. So what we're doing first, we're going to stamp the large image. This is an uh, image to fit on a slimline card, but it doesn't mean that you can't use it on an A2 or even A7 card. I'll be using the watermark and embossing clear ink, and I will emboss in gold to have to get more warm image, get a more soft and warm uh, feel to my image. I prep my cardstock with anti-static powder tool. And now I'm stamping a couple times and going over with the stampendable tool to make sure that I have a good impression. Since I can't see the ink, that's why I decided, even probably I had good impression, I decided to go one more time. So I'm applying that watermark ink and going over with the stampendable tool on my stamping platform. I'll remove that piece of cardstock from my stamping platform and I will apply gold embossing powder. So I'm applying the gold embossing powder in sections to make sure that I have nice coverage and I shake off all of the excess. Next, I'll make sure that my heat tool is nice and hot before I go to the cardstock to melt that embossing powder. Once your heat tool is nice and hot, the embossing goes pretty quickly. So now we can move on to the stencils. All the stencils are coated. So we have a first group of um, the flowers, it's like one. So we have one A, one B, one C, and one D. The second group only has two layers. So we have two A and two B. And then the third group has also two, that's the leaves. Uh, that's tree A and tree B. So what I did for the first one, I uh, applied banana um, cream pie to the center of the large flowers, the roses, and then I applied pink tutu. So next I'm going with the two, uh, two A and I'm adding tangerine dream. Also new product in this release are the ink blending brushes. They have white bristles, so you can easily see which color you've used on that brush and reuse it instead of cleaning it each time. Now I'm going to the 3A layer. You can either go like 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, all of the same group, or you can do like I'm doing here, starting from all the first layers for each grouping and then moving to the second, to third, and fourth. So here I used Prickly Pear Perfection. Now I'm going to the second layer. So we have 2A. I'm securing the stencil using removable tape. Since I'll be die cutting the image, uh, I'm not really worried about in getting off the stencil on the sides on the cardstock. So here I'm using uh, Soft Kisses hybrid ink. So next we are going for the 2B layer and I'm using In Your Face Orange. This is more brighter and intense orange than Tangerine Dreams. Okay, next we are going to 2C. 3B actually, and I will apply darker green, which will be olive branch. Again, I'm securing my stencil so it doesn't move while I'm applying the ink. So if 
if you're not really into coloring and you like these large images that are line images perfect for coloring, these stencils are a great solution. You can quickly apply color and you get perfect results. Now I'm going with the 1C and I will apply Lipstick Jungle which is kind of intense pink. And then for the center of the flowers, that is the layer 1D, stencil I'll use again in your face orange. So our image is colored. Now for my brushes, what I do, I'm using soft cloth, microfiber cloth to clean them off. I don't wash them after each use. Since I'm using the same color and I don't contaminate them with other inks. So now I'm using the coordinating die. I will secure that to the die to my piece of cardstock that I have the image embossed and colored. And by magic of YouTube, I already die cut that one. Next, I will stamp sentiment from the same stamp set onto a piece of vellum. I will stamp using the watermark and embossing ink and emboss in gold. So again, I prep my vellum using the anti-static powder tool. I stamp a couple times and now I'm applying the gold embossing powder and heat setting it. Once done, I will trim the sentiment into a strip so I, I can adhere it to my panel. I made a slimline card base from Shimmer Gold Cardstock. Uh, it's eight and a half by seven and I scored at three and a half. And then I have another piece of white cardstock that measures three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So next what we have left is to assemble the card. I'm using some liquid adhesive to adhere in the back. Usually I use foam tape, but since I want that vellum uh, sentiment to be wrapped around the panel, I decided to kind of make that image lay flat onto the panel. So I'll adhere that vellum on the back of the panel. And next I'm using a piece of craft film to adhere it to the card base. Again, I'm using liquid adhesive. And we are done. In the meantime, I'm adding my platform on top or you can add something heavier on top to make sure that it dries flat. Thank you so much for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe to the LDRS Creative YouTube channel. Also, please visit our blog for more ideas and more inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye.